Chicken oven, I guess. A oven would be dry heat. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's dry heat, but it doesn't matter. 100 and plus degrees is still hot. So. Whether it's uh, dry or humid, it's still, it's still hot heat. And it's a hot breeze. And it's just like a blow dryer in your face. And imagine all the workers out there. So you can see some buildings have misting fans. I mean, it's Arizona and it's the summer, but this is really incredible heat. We're going to see temperatures forecast 119 on Sunday, 120 on Monday. Temperatures in Arizona and places like Tucson and Phoenix will see the hottest temperatures in over 20 years. So what do we do and what do they do? Well, Kevin Kalkbrenner is here with us now. He's the Director of the Emergency Management in Phoenix. Thank you so much for joining us. So, what do you do with the heat as extraordinarily high as this for residents? So, one of the things that we're we're doing is we're we're step we stepped up our messaging in terms of uh, letting the residents know things like you know uh, take care of your pets, don't leave your kids in the cars, those kinds of things. We've internally as a city we've uh, looked at modern modifying work schedules and, and those types of things so that our workers aren't out in the heat. And um, the Salvation Army will be out uh, with their water stations. They'll, they'll be established. We also participate in a heat relief network. And um, we have cooling stations, which are our community centers and where people can come in and, and cool down and get some water. And, and there's some outreach there if they need, you know, further help, that kind of thing. So um, our hikers, we have a lot of trails in, in Phoenix that are um, enjoyed by a lot of people at all times of the day. And uh, the Parks Department is planning on posting rangers at those hiking uh, trails to monitor uh, folks going in and, and, and try to make sure that they're adequately prepared and warned about the tremendous heat that's going to hit us. And what about outdoor events? Do, I mean, is it so exceptional that events and activities are canceled? Well, well um, I would. I've, I don't have any uh, big events or public events that I know of that are canceled. I can't speak for the private events, but one of the challenges that we're going to face uh, on Saturday is uh, Donald Trump is coming to visit, and he's coming to the the uh, Veterans Memorial Coliseum at four o'clock in the afternoon, which is um, mm -hmm. which is going peak to be heat. yeah, it's going to be right at the peak of the heat. So. You know, we will be in the command center working uh, with the fire department and, uh, and law enforcement to make sure that we have enough people on hand to uh, to support those folks that are going to be waiting outside. Oh, all right. So talk personally for a second. So, you know, it's hard for people to imagine 115, 120 on Monday. Being outside in that kind of heat, what does it feel like when you walk out? Can you describe it to us? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's instant. It, um, it it's very difficult to cool yourself off without, um, you know, you know, you know the joke. It's a dry heat, but but evaporative cooling works well here. And um, and if you can get wet or use a handkerchief around your neck or those kinds of things, those really do help. But it is instant, and it's on you. And then if you have to uh, if you have to work or you get in your car. Oh. You can't touch the steering wheel. You have to do uh, certain things to be able to even drive, and it's it it takes its toll over a period of time. Oh, I'm sure. All right, Director of Emergency Management of Phoenix, Kevin Kalkbrenner. Thank you so much for being here and kind of giving us your advice, telling us what the city is doing. All right, so Donald Trump's coming Sunday in the pinnacle of the heat, right? Like he's not hot enough. Now let's factor that in. All right.